All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video where we'll be doing a review of the bamboo high temperature plate. So we've done a review of the uh, Wham Bam plate. Uh, the unit comes with the cool plate as well as the engineering plate on the other side. Um, but they do sell a couple of other plates, um, the high temperature plate and then a textured plate. So today we'll be looking at um, the high temperature plate and we'll run the same test that we did on the Wham Bam plate where we'll print PLA, PETG, uh, PACF, as well as ABS. So we'll print those same four cool benches and everything. But let's take a look at a couple of things about the high temperature plate. It does work on both the X1 series and the P1P. I think somebody had a question on the Wham Bam. Uh, I believe the build surfaces are exactly the same, so I think the Wham Bam will fit on there as well. Uh, this is from the U.S. store. Looks like they're in stock today, 30 bucks. Um, I got mine and they shipped it to me fairly quickly. And here's a couple of their videos on it. <clears throat> One thing that I would recommend is uh, printing this out and keeping it next to your printer. Um, so you can always double check um, that you're doing things correctly. On some of these plates, you don't always have to use glue, as we'll find out in a future video. Um, so this is good to have around so you don't... Um, you know, do the wrong things and you can double check and verify everything. So we'll make sure that these settings are in place and we'll do a PLA print, a PETG print, a PACF print, as well as an ABS print, and we'll make sure that all of these are correct. All right, see you in the time lapse. four benches on the uh, high temp plate here so everything came out fine you may have noticed a little bit of stringing on the ABS but it was uh, nothing it was just a little string little hair thing on there but the PACF turned out just fine PETG turned out just fine as well as the PLA so everything turned out fine uh, <clears throat> plate worked fine everything was good uh, my overall impressions with it are it's a great plate um, if that's something that you want to get to do the extra materials that you can't do with the cool plate or the engineering plate. The only downside is you do have to use glue with most of the stuff or at least it's recommended on most of the stuff. Um, <clears throat> so that is the only downside of it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed printing these again um, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks everybody.